I want to tell a little story now. Um, this is a few years back and, you know, I, I could think of so many stories to tell in which, you know, I could, when I, should, I inoculated myself in spirit. Um, but this particular one stands out. It's when I was between jobs <laughs> and things got a little rough for me. You know, I was definitely spinning out. I was in a state of fear and panic. Um, my mind was trying to figure out how to figure out how to get myself out of the situation. And I was just afraid of losing my life savings. I was afraid of all of these things. Wasn't in a very good place. <laughs> and, you know, one day I just realized that this level of awareness where I was, wasn't going to pull me through. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, I was so focused on what I didn't want and what I was afraid of that I didn't think I was going to do a very good job at bringing in and manifesting in my world what I did want. So I took a moment or took many, many moments. It took a while to really still my heart and still my mind because they were just wouldn't let it go. <laughs> you know, I kept thinking about, I need to get myself out of the situation. And I did, I stilled my mind and, you know, I kind of at first admitted to myself, like, Hey, I need, I need some help here. I need a, I need to tap into my higher power. And as I did, you know, I could, I could feel this energy shift. I could feel my shift in awareness, my shift in consciousness. And I felt this presence of like, or like, you know, like the presence was telling me that it's all going to be okay, um, that I'm safe. And I felt this big hug and surround. And even though the situation around me didn't, you know, my situation that I was so worried about wasn't immediately shifting, that shift, like that opening to spirit allowed a shift in um in the way I was perceiving things. So I was able to take a step back and calm down. I was able to meet my feelings of anxiety and my feelings of fear with this loving presence, which changed everything for me, especially at that time. And, you know, there's been times since then that I found myself in the middle of transition. Um, and, you know, that those feelings of anxiety would, would start to uh, emerge, I guess, but it's like, I was already inoculated. I already knew, you know, I already had a, a, that spiritual medicine come in and touch me <laughs> to and heal me in that way. And so it wasn't very hard yet. You know, when I, it wasn't very hard again, when I met this, you know, si similar circumstance to tap into that, um, higher vibration, that, that, universal love to come in and meet my circumstance and, and bring me through it. So, you know, spiritual inoculation isn't bypassing the challenges in our life. It's not pretending they don't exist or, um, you know, putting blinders on <laughs> it's tapping into the truth of our being and raising our vibration so that we can meet those challenges with the power of spirit. We can meet those challenges in a way that restores health, restores vitality, and in a way that gives life. 